see there are two types of species one is generalist and the other one is specialist if we want to know the difference between these two terms then uh, we can have idea in this way that there are certain species which have very wide occurrence which are found in varied kind of ecological conditions and there are other species which are found to be confined in a specific ecological niche so these two terms are actually related to such kind of uh, habits of animals so let us see the difference between these two terms see you see in this picture two animals are shown this left side animal is opossum it is a marsupial mammal and it is endemic to america particularly north america this animal feeds on variety of things like uh, it eats insects rodents birds eggs frogs plants fruits and grains means it is omnivorous it feeds on plant materials as well as on different types of animals and uh, it has wide distribution while the other one in this right side you see this one is koala it is a sedentary marsupial mammal which inhabits open eucalyptus woodland see these two animals belong to a uh, mammals you know class that is class mammalia but both are marsupials they are females possess a marsupial pouch in which she can keep her uh, her newborn babies for rearing purpose but their ecological conditions vary this left one has a wide ecological distribution whereas the other one is confined in a specific area particularly it could be seen uh, in eucalyptus you know um, woodland and it feeds only on eucalyptus leaves so it is having a single kind of plant on which it survives the other example is of raccoon this one is raccoon in the left side which is native of north america and its diet consists of variety of food materials like plants and animals so it it is also an omnivorous animal whereas this right one is a giant panda which is native of china and it feeds on restricted diet that is bamboo leaves and stem so these are two animals which are eutherian mammals but they have also variations in their distribution pattern as well as the type of food they feed so accordingly they are considered as generalist species or specialist species those species which have wide distribution and feed variety of things they are actually generalist and others which are restricted in particular geographical area they have very small ecological niche for their uh, habitat and those who feed on restricted diet they are actually specialist so in this regard you can see some of the salient points here in this table generalist species are those which have very broad ecological niches okay niche range that is ecological uh, uh, areas if you consider that is quite broad one in case of generalist species like in case of raccoon whereas in case of a specialist one it is very narrow one like in case of panda it is confined in only those parts of china where bamboo leaves or bamboo vegetation is in plenty regarding that the generalist species are those which are omnivorous there may be herbivorous animals of this type but they feed on variety of you know plant materials so large number of vegetation come under their food materials and if they are omni uh, carnivorous then they feed on variety of animals you know different kinds of animals like invertebrates or vertebrates could be in the uh, diet list of uh, in the 
food list of such animals so they are generalist whereas specialist species they feed on a specific kind of diet so they are monophagous whereas the generalist species are polyphagous if you consider the habitat then generalist species generalist species can live in diverse environmental conditions specialist they require specific habitat conditions regarding adaptability generalists are adapted to very much changes in the environment means they can tolerate wide range of uh, uh, variations in the environment so they are highly adapted whereas specialist they are less adapted so less adaptable to changes and they are highly specialized one regarding reproduction you find that generalist species are those in which a reproduction will be very high so high reproductive rates they have and that is due to general adaptability whereas specialist species they have lower reproductive rates due to specialized needs the other thing is you can see the advantages of these two species generalist uh, generalist species they can survive in a variety of habitats they can adapt to environmental changes higher chances of survival under variable conditions are there with generalist whereas in case of specialist species uh, they can exploit a specific resource more efficiently they are less compet competitive due to niche specialization and they often have fewer predators due to specific needs certain disadvantages are th there like in case of generalist species they may face intense competition due to overlap with other generalists and these animals they are less efficient to use specialized resources whereas specialist species in their case if their specific resource or habitat is threatened their survival is at risk regarding evolution also you can think that generalist species they have higher chance of differentiation they have better survival value means they can survive even in varied conditions and specialist species they are very vulnerable the rate of extinction in their case may be higher than the generalist one so these are some of the salient points regarding differentiation between generalist and specialist species